What is up then guys, how you all doing well? Welcome back to the channel. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos that I did from Jackfest and Tracks. Um, I thought it was a good couple of days. Definitely put me out my comfort zone recording in public. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But anyway, so the topic of this video is because I've got a box. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well then, so I'm not normally the type of person that interacts with YouTube advertisements and like Instagram advertisements, but I thought I saw this, saw like an um, advertiser from Mishimoto saying that they're looking for people to send in images of their cars and um, might get picked for a sponsorship, which to be fair, it didn't really give much detail on what the sponsorship would be entailing, whether it'd be like free parts and stuff like that and advertisements, but I thought, why well, not, to late like, night and sent it, just send them some images, send them a the car parts that I might be interested in getting. As you may know, Mishimoto don't really do anything for a Mark 6 Fiesta, but I thought I'd make it work. But anyway, so in returns, they accepted me and they sent me this box. So I'm gonna open up this for you guys to see what's inside. I've not actually opened this yet. I think I've read a little bit about it. I think there's something called a swag bag or something like that inside. But yeah, let's do this. So we've got a letter, okay, it's just an invoice. And we've got a bag. So to have got your sponsorship pack, you would have had to either use your code word or your code now, which got sent to your email. And as there was parts that I needed, but I didn't really need them right now, I just ordered myself an air freshener and a lanyard. I think altogether that came to about 11 pound. And the air freshener is, looks very nice. I think it was like cinnamon flavor or something like that. So looking forward to cracking open and seeing what that is. Okay, so here we've got a letter. Fruit. <laughs> Bless me. Okay then, so welcome to Team Mishimoto. Greetings on our behalf and everyone here at Mishimoto. I'd like to thank you for choosing Mishimoto and welcome to the Team Mishi program. We're excited to have you on board. In addition to exclusive discounts to our parts, your Team Mishi status means you'll enjoy other benefits including a page on our website showcasing your car, just send us full details of your build, as well as um, high resolution photos, especially those featuring Mishimoto, product, Mishimoto products. Wait. Oh yeah, back to the desk. And then, um, uh, promotions of your vehicle on social media, um, keep those, um, just keep those photos, race and shows results coming our way. You'll be among the first to know about um, about new products we're developing and releasing for your car. We'll keep you in the loop. You'll be eligible for for special Team Mishimoto specific discounts and free contests for free swag. And discounts for free swag, sorry. Um, you'll get the chance to show off your car when we're looking for booth cars um, to display at events. And we, we always look into Team Mishi first, so happy days. As always, we're happy to have you here and we look forward to helping you with all your performance needs. Feel free to reach out at sponsormishimoto.com. Uh, together we can push the limits from Ricky Nubix. I think that's it, I don't know. But yeah, let's see what we've got. Oh. So yeah, swag bag. How do you open this? Okay, so what do we have here? So we've got a Mishimoto sticker. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's a white sticker. I think we've got another one. So yeah, we've got two white Mishimoto stickers. Um, I know what this is called, but what's it called? Um, a koozie, a koozie, a koozie. So drinks holder thing, like a, um, I think it's like felt or something like that. Yeah, so you'll slip your drink into there. Nice, thank you. Oh, we've got another air freshener. And another lanyard. And then some information, I'm guessing. All right then, and I think that's it. So thank you, Mishimoto. Thank you for sponsoring me. I think they're sponsoring quite a lot of people, so if you're interested, make sure you apply for it. If I can find the link for it, I'll put that down in the description. But yeah, it's a cool little gift. Thank you. I'm very happy. I can't wait to crack one of these open and see what they smell like, because my car currently smells like ass. But yeah, I think that's probably it for that. So I had a feeling this was gonna be a short video. So I have got 
these, what I like to call stage two eBay canards. These are stage one. These ones look like cat whiskers and they're, yeah. I think it's time for a bit of an upgrade. So I brought these ones, they are, they're much bigger. Let me try and find the right one. And yeah, they are hench. So I'm probably gonna have to do a bit of heat forming with the heat gun or just see how much I can bend it with the, and just hopefully self tapper it in. But yeah, I think I'm gonna stick these on, probably take these old ones off first, position up the new ones and then see what they look like. But they, I think these ones look so much better. Alright then, so that's what it looks like now on the left side, now that they've gone, look how naked it looks. Pretty much OEM now. But yeah, we're gonna take the right side off, clean everything up, and then we're gonna go and get the new canards, the ones up there, and then line them up. And then hopefully, hopefully see what it looks like and see if they actually fit well. But then, so that's the canards off, and the bump has been cleaned up on both sides. I've just put it back up there so it's a bit easier for me to mark the new placement of the canards. But yeah, to be fair, I think it looks I think the bumper looks better without these canards on it. That's just my opinion though. I don't think they really made much of a distance aesthetically. But yeah, let's get the new ones lined up and see how we're looking. So now that I've um, taken everything off, I've just masked up the side just so I can get like an idea. Um, when I drill these holes out, I'll be able to put pen holes from where I'm gonna have to drill through to and then mount it up to. But if you look at that, that is pretty spot on. There is probably about a two mil gap in between the canard and the bumper, but obviously with a bit of salve tapping, that should fit absolutely lovely. So what I'm gonna do now, is wait when I've figured out what I'm gonna do now. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna line up the second ones, which are gonna be the lower ones, see if they fit as good. Is that the right one? Okay, so let me just check. Yeah, so these ones are a bit a bit more out. So let me just see. So to be fair, same type of thing, I might I might be able to just self tapper that in and hopefully it brings itself in. But if worse comes to worse, then maybe heat gun up, heat, heat it up a little bit with the heat gun, the blowtorch, maybe heat gun a bit safer. But yeah, get the heat gun and just have it mounting around, help it form around the front of the bumper. But um, I'm not too sure whether to do little at the top and big at the bottom. Um, let me have a mess around and I'll get back to you. And that's what it kind of looks like with big on the top and little on the bottom. And there we go, so that's what it looks like with the small one on the top and the big one on the bottom. To be truthfully honest with you, I think it looks better with the big one on the top and the little one on the bottom. Anybody with any idea about aerodynamics is probably rolling their eyes right now, which I highly apologize for as I'm a bit of a novice. But yeah, I am think I'm just gonna do what I wanna do because obviously it's my car and if worst comes to worst and the little one looks terrible on the bottom, then I'll just go buy another set and have like big and big and then big on big on the other side. But yeah, you can't really complain. These cost about 10 pounds and these ones cost about 10 pounds when I first got them. So it's a nice little upgrade, especially when it's eBay parts as well. No, no harm done. But yeah, I'm gonna go drill the holes in this and then we'll start uh, marking up so that I can drill through the bumper 
And obviously I know that some of you guys want your cars to be show cars and the thought of drilling into your car becomes like, like a very horrible thought. But I've drilled into my car numerous times. Obviously this isn't a, a very common color for the car. So the only problem I'd ever have is if I change mine, wanting to buy a new bumper. But worst comes to worst, it's a paying job. It's only a bumper and I don't really want it to be a show, like a showy show car. My end goal is to put it on the track, which if you haven't guessed that already, I want it to be a track car. But yeah, let's crack on with this. I'll drill the holes out and we'll see what I'll go on. So one of the cool things about these canards is that they've already got the dimples in there so you have an idea of where you need to drill in. The only thing that's left to you is to choose what type of hardware you want to use to fit these to your car. Happy days. There you go. Back to the car. And there we go then guys, so that's what it looks like now that they're all, all on. They're not completely secure yet, there will be, it will pull itself in a little bit when I put the rest of the screws in. But yeah, that doesn't look too bad if I don't say so myself. There we go, oh nice little cinematic there, didn't even mean to do that, look at that. Yeah man, I'm happy with that, so what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to leave this one for now. Actually, yeah, so I'm going to leave this one for now, I'm going to try and duplicate the exact same on the other side. Wish me luck. Um, I have to get the spirit level on just to make sure that everything's not all skewed. But yeah, let me just do that one more time. I really like that. Look at that. That looks sick. Race car built by eBay. Yeet. All right, then now for the grand reveal. That's the left one done. That's the driver's side done. Look at that. It looks, it looks so much better with all the hardware in. But yeah, that's one side done. And that's the other one done. So um, it took me absolutely ages to do that side because I wanted to make everything as symmetrical as this side. I don't know if you can see it properly. But that's as symmetrical as we're getting. It, it's, it is literally to the millimetre, so I'm not worried about anything. So yeah, I'm, I'm so happy about that. But um, if you guys want the canines that I took off this, so here are the old ones. If you just want to send me a DM on Instagram, um, send me a Furby car, and yeah, I'll send them to wherever you want them in the world. Um, I'll put the winner in the following video, maybe not the next one, but the one after that. But yeah, oh, I'm very happy with this. It looks so good. Let me just do it one more time. There we go. Oh, 
Look at that. But yeah, guys, for how to in a right shape or form, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to Mishimoto for sponsoring my build, and thank you to Trade Signs and Full Motorsport who sponsored me for the last couple of years. So yeah, for how to in a right shape or form, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.